All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a class one double braid ice splice in Samson Velocity rope. Uh, Samson Velocity is an 11 millimeter double braid. Uh, it has a polyester cover over a nylon core. Okay, first thing we got to do is lay out the marks for our splice. Uh, to do that, I use a uh, a fid. This is a tubular fid uh, for 7 16 rope. Uh, and the first mark is going to be one fid up the rope from the end of the rope. Okay, and I just use thread to make my marks. That way I can take it out and you don't see any residual marks after you're done splicing. Okay, so there's mark A. Uh, I then need my eye, okay, and I know for uh, from experience that for a tight eye in this particular rope, I want about three and a half inches of rope. So I come up three and a half inches from the first mark to there. I'm going to come just a little under three and a half right there. Okay, put your thread through there. All right, and then from there I come up and I make mark C one short fid above that mark. And on the tubular fid, if you look, there's those little double marks right there. This is a short fid and this is a long fid, okay? So come up one short fid above mark B and make mark C right there. Okay, all right. So there's our three layout marks on the cover. From mark A down here, I wanna do my taper marks where I'm gonna cut strands out later on to taper the cover, okay? To do that, I count eight strands down towards the end of the rope from mark A. You know, zoom in just a little so you can see better what's going on here. Okay, so eight strands towards the end of the rope. And make a mark right there, all right? And then from there, I'm gonna mark off six pairs of, of cover strands that I'm gonna remove later. And I do those at five strand intervals, okay? So I count five strands from this mark T here and mark a pair, okay? And then from there, just keep marking the same pattern. Keep marking at five strand intervals. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Okay, so there's six pairs. Let's go ahead and mark seven. Make a calendar. One, two, three, four. Yeah, went one too far. Okay. All right, so there's seven pairs marked for removal later. Okay, so the next step is to go up the rope from mark C here from this uh, third mark. Go up the rope five fids. Um, let me zoom back out a bit. And tie an alpine butterfly. That just keeps the cover and the core from getting messed up while you're doing the splice. Two, three, four, and five. So right up there, you're just gonna tie an alpine butterfly, okay? All right, throw that out of the way, go back down to the end here. Next step is to remove the cover from the core, or I'm sorry, the core from the cover right there, um, that, that second mark at mark B. Okay, to do that, I just take my wire fid here and I shove it in between a couple of strands down in there. And I can pry back then and see, if you look, you'll see the, the, the uh, core strands down in there. Okay, so that's what we want to snag. We can get this string out of our way now. All right, so once you get that in there, you can just turn it sideways and snag those core strands and then start using your fingernail and bending the rope back. You can just kind of pry the cover strands away and that will expose the core and it'll gradually pop up. Got a little more I wanted there. If you bend the rope back, that core will pop right out of there. 
Okay, just like that. Okay, got a little bit of rough there. Just smooth that back out. All right. Okay, so now that I've got the core out, I pull pull all the slack out of it, or pull all the core out, and then I re re adjust all that just by milking the cover back down over the core. Do that a couple of times. Go up, clear up the knot, and just pull all the slack out until the core and the cover are equalized relative to each other, okay? And right here where the cover comes out, you're going to make a mark, okay? Pull that out of there like that and use your FID to do your layout marks on your core, okay? Uh, the first mark, from that mark you go one short FID up the rope and make mark two, okay? And then from that mark you go one FID plus a short FID up the rope. And you make mark three, okay? Okay, so there's our marks on our core. Okay, and we're going to take the core here, and the last five inches on the end of the core, we're going to remove about half the strands. Uh, we're just going to do that because it makes it easier to pull through the cover in a little bit, and you'll see when we do that. Okay, so just take your scissors, or uh, you can use a modern spike, and start pulling out strands. Pull about half the strands out of there. And this doesn't have to be exact because these are just going to get cut off later on. Yeah, we'll take one more. Okay, we'll call that good enough. So just cut those strands off. Yeah, it should be good. All right. Okay, now we got to go back here to the cover and do the taper. Remove those strands that we marked earlier. Okay. All right, we're going to do that with our marlin spike here. Uh, just start. Uh, here's that first mark we made, mark T. Okay, here's the first cover pair. Okay, so just start pulling those out of there. And be sure to pull away from the end of the rope. Don't pull from the other side. If you, you don't want this bunching to be over on this side, which is where your eye is at. So be real careful to pull away from the end of the rope. And just pull out every one of the marked strands that you marked. Uh, I forgot to remove my tape here, which is what's making it difficult. All right. Okay, just keep pulling the pairs out that are marked. Okay, and one more. Okay, so once you've got all those cut, you can just take your scissors and cut them off, okay? Right where they come out of the rope. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to bury the uh, cover here inside the core. And we're going to do that, if you recall here, let's back out just a little. So here's mark one on the cover, or the core, and here's mark two, and then down here a ways is mark three. Okay, so 
from Mark 3 to Mark 2, we're going to bury the core inside there. Okay. To do that, we just take our wire fid and we run it in here at Mark 3. Run it on down to Mark 2, right there. Come on out right there. Be, try not to go through the middle strands. but Okay, and then take your cover here uh, and put it inside the fid. Okay, and then just gently pull it through. You kind of work it down through there like that, pushing on this as you go, and it'll just slide right on through like that, okay? Once it comes through, I, I like to put a clip on here just so that at least temporarily I don't have it, I don't pull it back through there by accident. All right. Okay, so now I've got to bury the uh, the core here inside the cover, and it's going to get buried from Mark T here. This Mark right there, okay, all the way through and out over here um, at Mark C, okay. So to do that, I just pull some slack there. Take my wire fid right here, insert it at mark C. I'm going to insert it in the back side right there, right, right on down through there, being careful not to catch any cover strands. Okay, and then it's going to come out. I'm going to pull this out. We don't need that anymore. It's going to come out right there at mark T. There we go. Okay, then you're going to put the uh, core strands into your fid. And this is where removing those strands earlier makes a difference because it reduces the, the thickness of this down here, makes it easier to pull through, okay? So then all I have to do is pull on my, pull on my uh, uh, wire fid down here and pull that through like that, okay? And just kind of milk it through like that. Pulls through really easy, actually, okay? Just like that. Okay, and then you keep pulling until all this closes up. Okay, see how that's closing up? Okay, that's closing up. Then I grab both sides. I grab the, the uh, cover strands over here and the core, and I pull, okay, like that in opposite directions. Pull nice and tight, and what that does is it pulls that crossover down good and snug. Okay, then I can see how my crossover now is nice and tight. Okay, okay we're going to bury the cover strands next here do that, we taper that last little bit that we didn't taper earlier by just cutting them off at a long, gradual angle. Just like that. Okay, long, gradual taper. Okay, now we can bury those by just holding on to the cross over here, milking it until those cover strands go inside. Okay, so there's that. Okay, but now we gotta take care of this end over here. To do that, we hold on to the crossover, milk the slack back towards the, uh, the where the cover or the core strands come out right there. And get rid of that string. Okay. Take your pin, make a mark right there on the core strands. Okay. And then pull that out just like that. Cut it off about a quarter of an inch short of those that mark we made. Okay. And then flare this out. Like that. And then cut it off at a long, gradual taper. I actually, usually what I'll do, I'll take the first few off here, nice and close. Just take a couple of them. And then the rest of them, I'm just going to saw off at a long, gradual angle. The whole idea is to get a long, nice, gradual taper. Okay, feels good. All right, so now we can bury that by just holding here at the crossover and milking. You'll see those, those strands will disappear in there, okay? All right, 
So now we've got the whole thing ready for the final bury. To do that, we have to move over onto our cleat. Okay, so now I've put my figure uh, or my alpine butterfly over here on the cleat and I'm ready to do the berry on this, okay? Um, to do that, I'll move the camera here just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so at first this will bury really fast, okay? Uh, because there's a lot of cover slack in the rope. So you can see it'll just start closing up uh, without me hardly even doing much at all. I just kind of feed that in like that. What you want to be sure to do is hold this so that you can keep tension on both sides of the eye so that you don't let this get bunched up as it enters into the into the cover. Okay. So then I go down the rope and I just grab some slack and I milk that cover this way. Okay. So you can see that'll just start to bury in there with very little effort at all. So now once I get to this point I need to put a carabiner in the rope. All right, okay, so now I've just got to keep stripping or milking cover this way to cover up the last of that, of that uh, core. Okay, so I just milk it this way, and right towards the end I pull hard, and you'll see that that cover just starts to cover up the core really quickly. Okay, massage it a little bit. That just uh, loosens up the strands so that they won't move relative to each other, okay. Then hold again, hold the carabiner, go down and milk the cover over that uh, uh, over the core and pull hard towards the end and you'll see it's starting to close up. Okay. I'm gonna come in just a little closer here. Alright, so you can see how that's starting to cover. Okay. Alright, um, so one more time. Milk on the cover, pull hard towards the end until that eye starts to close up. Milk it some more. Not quite close, it's getting close. Okay, one more time, go down and we'll pull hard on your eye at the same time you're milking that cover over the core. Okay, so there she closed up. All right, just need to massage that a little more. So loosen it up a bit. That's essentially done, but before we finish this, uh, this is this will, is, the rope is bunched up a little bit right here, so you need to go back over to the cleat and pull on that. Okay. Just take your uh, carabiner, put it over there, grab this and pull hard. <coughs> and that'll pull all the bunching out of the cover right there. Okay, so that's your finished, finished eye splice. Needs to be lock stitched before it's done, but essentially that's the finished splice.